My name is Greg McDaniel. And I'm Bernice Ross. We have a wonderful show for you. Hot topics for your next YouTube marketing video. Now, Greg, we know that agents at least now are using their, their phone and their cameras to shoot videos. Right. They do a Facebook Live or maybe they do a walk through an open house, but there's so much more that you can be doing. And Greg is an expert on this. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that you can do. So let's start with number one, top five list. Now, this is one of the richest topics you can use. Greg, what are some examples of the top five list that you've made for the different areas that you serve? Sure, not a problem. Some of the top five lists are gonna be uh, parks, playgrounds, uh, different lakes in the area, uh, different neighborhoods, the top five things why you should or should not move into the area. The laundry list goes down, you know, as far as you can ever want it to go, but just start making these videos. People love them. Let me give you some examples of some of the ones I've pulled up. You know, Greg mentioned the pros and cons of living in the area. Uh, you always want to do something about that uses the phrase, phrase moving to, like moving to Austin, moving to mm -hmm. San Francisco. Top things to do in your city. In Austin, top, you know, top five hike and bike trails. Top venues for live music. Top farmers markets. The idea, the idea here is really, is Greg just said, niche deeply into the lifestyle. You know, Bernice, one of the things that we do a lot is that you can talk about them, but you can also go out and showcase the area. There's a place called Lime Ridge that's right behind me over here. Great area of your hiking. If you want to go over and take a look at the Golden Gate Bridge, get a video of you hiking across the Golden Gate Bridge. If you want to go into a nice restaurant or, you know, be in different types of environments, go be a part of that environment like the farmer's market. Showcase how many people are there and the incredible food. And there's so much opportunity here to build a rapport around what you do. Don't just be stationary. Get out and be active when you shoot this stuff. Interview people about what their experiences are, walking across the Golden, Golden Gate Bridge, going to the farmer's market, going to the Lime Ridge you know, hiking area, whatever that's going to be. It, it creates an environment around your, your, where you live so it's no longer just a place on a map. Now it's actually a real place where people have personalities. You can see the types of people that are living there, what kind of food they're eating, what kind of environment they're in, everything. It just really builds that kind of brand for you and people want to be around someone who wants to showcase their neighborhoods. Well, one of the great things about using videos, is that, as you mentioned, is you get to showcase what it's like to live there. And one of the things you can do to generate these top five lists is to ask the people who are your past clients, your current clients, and your sphere, what do you love about living here? And you may want to even ask, what don't you like about living here to do that, you know, the pros and cons to do your cons list. Let's go on to number two, evergreen topics. These topics are extremely high interest and they're constantly changing. That's why they're evergreen. So you can make some of these every, you know, once a month, some of them once a quarter. So the first one is the monthly market update. Greg, could you say a little bit more about the resources you're using for this? Because you've got some good ones. Yeah, Bernice, I really appreciate you asking me. Uh, the monthly market update is something that's incredibly powerful. I know we all think it might be a little cliche to, to kind of talk about this, but guys, you got to understand that the people that we're working with, they don't live in the real estate space on a consistent basis like we do on, on you know, the majority of the time. And so what I use is I also use, I use my, my MLS. So I go in there and I get my stats from there. And then I can build some spreadsheets and talk about it from that. You know, I use a company uh, called Neighborhood Scout. Um, and I go on there and I go in and I, it's a free service. I go in, I type in the zip code. Um, and then I can go in, they, they're going to bring in your master market, which is going to be your zip code. And then there's micro markets within there. And so I can do um, uh, neighborhood updates in regards to those micro markets uh, at a zero cost basis. One of the things I loved about Neighborhood Scout, as I looked at it, is all the rich data they have about so many different things. It's, you know, lots of things about the neighborhood, lots of stats, great place to look. Our second evergreen topic is something everybody cares about, is has my house appreciated or depreciated? Well, people want to know when their house has appreciated, but if, if their house has gone down in value and there will be, there are downturns coming, you know, these things, our markets go up and down. So what what you want to do is you want to be proactive. If their house is appreciated, let them know. You know, properties in your area have increased on average $50,000 in the last six months if you're in a super hot market. Or on the other hand, if property values have gone down, then, you know, would you like getting, would you like 
having an updated valuation of your property that could possibly help you to lower your property taxes, depending on what state you're in. And some, you know, like Texas, they assess the, you know, whatever the real value is. So again, that's something that you can cover. All right, Benice, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about our third topic here for best videos uh, when it comes to Evergreen. This is going to be the cost of living in your city. Uh, there's a phenomenal website. It's called bestplaces.net. You can go in, Google this. You can get a, an idea of what it's going to cost to live in your city. Now, on a national average, they're going to rank it out of 100, and then they're going to do regional, and then they're going to do specific to that city. So you can really get an idea of all kinds of different things in regards to just overall health, groceries, housing, utilities, transportation, uh, municipalities, you know, the list goes on and on. But you can really make a lot of videos off of this. I've done this personally, and I've had people call me from around the country for the videos that I've made. And it has been incredible when they go like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for this information. I never knew about blah in this city. And they just went off the rails and it was awesome. Now, Greg, what was that site again? Just so everybody can write that down. So that would be bestplaces.net. Uh, and then go in there and just Google your city and you'll be able to get a lot of information. Boy, that is a huge takeaway tip. Let's go on to our fourth evergreen topic, financial topics. This one never goes out of style. People always want to know what the mortgage rates are doing. And so many people today are refinancing or getting uh, HELOC loans to do home improvements. So people really care about this. You know, let people know not only what the mortgage rates are doing, but what the refi rates are doing or what the HELOC loans are because so many people, are, again, are looking at fixing up their houses if they can't sell. Now, the other thing for those who need down payment assistance, visit downpaymentresource.com. This is something that can be absolutely wonderful resource. You know, people, you know, if you need, if you need help with down payment assistance and buying your home, get in contact with me. So again, this is a great resource. And you, if you want to, the average amount of down payment assistance from DPR, last time I checked, was $13,000. That's a lot of money towards a down payment for someone who's like in the $200,000 or $300,000 price range. So Bernice, let's break into our next topic, which is something that I've done personally. And it's actually something that's really, really simple to do. It, it's basically uh, city tours uh, for relocation clients and or anybody who's moving into the area. This is something that is a lot of fun to do because you can go and you get to learn the, about the history of the city and kind of the little nitty gritty things like I, there's a city close to me, it's called Lafayette, and I didn't know that there was a super bloody war there with the Indians and the Spanish back in the day. I read about this and I was able to barf that back out on the camera and in, in, into a film, and people were just like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this took place. And I said, yes, isn't that fascinating? They're like, yes, it is really incredible. By the way, you sell real estate, right? I'm like, I do sell real estate. <laughs> and we were able to get in conversation, but you can go and get these histories and just really learn about your area and then in, in Inform people because you have to be an information aggregator for the people that you're going to be working with uh, at all times, no matter if it's going to be buying, selling, or just the area this, uh, that you represent, because then you're an established authority in those neighborhoods. Well, the thing I love about that suggestion is not only getting a history, but then, of course, you know, we haven't talked about the historical homes. You can go out and, you know, sometimes they'll have, you know, you'll be able to go on a guided tour of a home and be able to get photos. You have to ask permission, obviously. Uh, one of the other things I love, this notion of becoming a tourist, uh, this is great stuff. I mean, when I, I remember going to Charleston, South Carolina, you know, going in the horse-drawn you know, carriage and seeing all these wonderful antebellum houses. And, but they all had earthquake vaulting. And I'm thinking, earthquake vaulting in South Carolina? <laughs> Wait a minute, this is not San Francisco or LA. <laughs> And apparently they had major quakes there. So, you know, who, who would have thought? I had no idea until I saw that. And, you know, uh, one of the, you know, if you're uh, not too worried about, uh, uh, you know, a lot, some people will do the, you know, they'll do the ghost tours in some cities, you know, they'll do the, yeah, you're not doing that, I know. <laughs> but mm -hmm. then uh, also you can, um, you know, they have the, uh, in, in LA, you know, a lot of places they do have, you know, you get on the big red bus, depending what city you're in, and, you know, see what the highlights are. You can, again, you can do videos on those. Or, you know, you can go to famous, you know, you can drive past famous people's houses. I mean, there's so many things you can have fun with here, you know, because people are, you know, like you said, it's like walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. People want to have that experience. And 
most people aren't going to walk across it. If you do it, that would make a super awesome video. Oh, totally fun. Like I went to London uh, two years ago and uh, I, I never ridden on a double decker red bus. Guess what? I made a video about it, posted it on my Instagram and Facebook stories. People blew up about it. I was laughing. I'm like, my girlfriend was cracking up because I'm like, we're sitting on the top of this bus and we're going to do this. And she's like, why? I'm like, because it's something that we can talk about and show people the experience. And people are looking for experiences when you do these videos so that they can feel a part of it. And, they, and then they want to come over and they want to buy a property or sell a property in those neighborhoods because of what you show them. It's so simple. Well, Greg, the thing that you just, this point you just made is so important. People want to feel like they're part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go on to our next major topic, which is check out the first page of Google search. And this is something that you may not have ever thought of, but uh, there's a tool called Keywords Everywhere, and Greg's going to talk about that in more detail. But what you can do, if you look on the first page of Google, they are going to put the questions that are being most searched for. When you answer those questions in a video, you're going to be doing something that automatically has high SEO. And let's, so when I did this for Austin, here's the list of what, you know, what was on there first. Is it worth buying a house in Austin? Number two, is Austin real estate overpriced? Number three, what is the best area to live in Austin? Number four, is Austin, Texas expensive? Number five, Austin real estate market. Number six, homes for sale by owner, Austin, Texas. Number seven, homes under 100K in Austin, Texas. Number eight, foreclosures in Austin, Texas. Uh, number nine, South Austin homes for sale. And number 10, just Austin, Texas. Any one of those would make a great video. But the key here is, the secret here, is to now, once you've identified these high search topics, Greg, say what Keywords Everywhere does, because this lets you get at high search topics that generate a lot of eyeballs. So could you elaborate it on that and how you're using that in your business? Yeah, not a problem. Keywords Everywhere is something I've used for quite a while. Um, it's at a very, very low cost. Um, and may, I believe it's like $10 for 100,000 searches or something along those lines. So basically, you're going to pay them and then you're there and turn your search, you know, search engine into a uh, basically a, well, a, a search engine. <laughs> and they're going to be able to go out and we type something in over on the right hand side, it's going to come up and they're going to talk about kind of what you searched the volume that it searched, what your CP, CPC cost per click is going to be, and then what your competition is going to be. So one of the things that Bernice searched uh, was uh, homes for sale. And this is going to be obviously in the Austin area just overall. That's searched 1.22 million times, and it costs $1.15 uh, dollars per click for people to get in, get involved with that. That's a, that's a rather high one, but your numbers will drop when it comes to this stuff. Guys, you can find a lot of these different search topics that will cost you literally zero or a very, very low amount of money to get in front of a lot of people. We're talking tens of thousands, maybe 3,600, maybe, you know, whatever the number is going to be for whatever, the, whatever you're going to be searching on. Then like, just for example, here, if you type in San Francisco weather, it's searched over a million times a month. So, go make a video about the weather in San Francisco and say you're a real estate agent. It's not brain surgery and you can get in front of a lot of folks and become visible and become relevant. The big, biggest thing about what we're, Bernice and I are talking about is relevancy. We have to be relevant in front of the people that, that, that are looking for stuff because if you're not talking the language they want to hear, they're going to walk right over you and just go to somebody else. So I love keywords everywhere. It is an incredibly you know, low cost asset that you become incredibly relevant and visible on. And you can just make the videos and go from there. Now, in case you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by all of this, keep in mind that you can do 15 to 30 second videos. They don't have to be long. You know, a mortgage update can be 15 to 30 seconds, or there's been a big change in the cost of living and just, you know, do 15 to 30 seconds on that. And, the, you know, it's the repetition. How often are you posting uh, videos for your business, Craig? Daily. I'm yeah. literally posting videos on a daily basis. I put weekly videos uh, out to my database, but I'm doing daily shorts on Instagram stories, Facebook stories. I'm starting YouTube shorts, uh, IG lives. I mean, there's just a lot of places where if you don't want to do long form, 
to, like Bernice was saying, totally fine. Just start going short form and we and just kind of get dip your big pinky in, into the into the waters of, of video and then gain your you know get your legs behind you and then just start doing longer form. But just start for please start. And Greg, this is the beauty of doing these things for YouTube because they go across other platforms. Once mm. you've done that, you can repurpose, repurpose across all the platforms. YouTube, YouTube Shorts, which I didn't know about. Instagram Reels is short, is short form videos like TikTok. I mean, the, you know, huge opportunities here. And again, it takes you nothing to do 15 to 30 seconds and post it. So Greg, that was my final takeaway. What's yours? You know, Bernice, <clears throat> I loved your takeaway. And what I would say, and I would add on to it very, very briefly, is I would say, guys guys and gals, just start doing short form. I know you don't like how you sound. I know you don't like how you look on camera. People know, love, and trust you. So get in front of them, stay in front of them, be relevant, and be consistent. That would be my takeaway. Huge takeaways. Relevancy, consistency, and connectivity. You know, staying in contact with your you know, with your clients and your sphere, best ways to build your business. Thanks for being with us today. We'll see you next time.